I don't know how many words you can stand, but I'm going to give you three talks. Now don't be scared. Tiny talks. I thought I'd give you a talk for 10 minutes, and then we do a little song, and then you can talk with each other, and then another little one, and then you can still say that you want to hear the third hear one or not. But, uh, so I really want you to, to listen as good as you can, and maybe after each little talk, you can maybe talk a little bit with one another. You can say, now, did that make sense? Or what did I hear? Or what did that mean? Oh, sorry, I better not get in your way. <laughs> <laughs> Going to speak about the vulnerable journey. That's what I'm going to talk about. The vulnerable journey, which we all are making. And first of all, I'm going to say something about the vision of God. I want you to have an idea how God looks at you and at me. And we're not going to talk for a while about disabilities. We're going to just talk about God's vision. Then we're going to say something about the way of Jesus. And then we're going to say something about the work of the Spirit. So three little talks about the vision of God, the way of Jesus, and the work of the Spirit. So I, I hope you keep these three things in mind. It's about a vision, it's about a way, it's about a work. So now let me talk a little bit about the vision of God. You, you want to help me? Why not? You want to help me too? Sure. Okay, well, why don't you take your... your um, you can help. Okay. Just, just come here. That's good. Oop. Very good. That works? Yeah? Very good. Very good. Now, I want both of you. Let me stand so that everyone can see us. I want you to tell some, I want you to tell something about a very big movement. A big movement, you know, up, from up to down and up again. So, the movement starts mm -hmm. before you were born, mm -hmm. okay? Long before you were born, long before I were born. And long before you and you and I and all of you were born, we all existed in the heart of God. Now, you might often think about it, but that's true. <laughs> you existed before your mom knew you, or your dad knew you, or before you had friends, or before you knew about anybody. You were in the heart of God, and God had a very big, big heart. And what he did is he holds you all the way this way, you know. From all eternity, he helps you that way. And he helps you, and he said, I love you, you are my son, and to the girls and the women, he said, you're my daughter, and you're there in me, and I love you. I love you with my whole heart, and I love you more than anyone else will ever be able to love you. Okay? Now, that's what you have to believe. All right. You know? Believe it. Well, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Because when you say yes, then God is saying, you know, what's your first name? Corey. Corey? Corbett. Corbett. And your first name? Kevin. Kevin. Corbett. He said, Corbett, I love you so much. Now I'm going to send you for a little time into the world. Maybe 20 years, maybe 40 years, maybe 100 years, but a little time. I'm going to send you into the world. Yeah? And I want you to go into that little world 
and spend some time there. Now, it's not going to be easy time, and sometimes going to be tough time, and sometimes people are going to laugh at you, and sometimes people are not going to like you, but it's just going to be a short time, and while you're in the world, you're going to tell me about that love. Okay? Okay. And then I say, you did a good job, and you're going to call your home again, because that's where you came from, and that's why you wanted to go again. And then he calls you back in that place where you came from. Okay. Now, do you see the big sweep? All the way from above, where you were always from all eternity, he sent you into time to be with people, and then he calls you back home. See? Wow. Isn't that yeah. wow? Yeah, not for okay. wow. That's important. <laughs> not for 100 years. Oh, hold on. Okay. Now you sit down. You both sit down again because I want to say something more about that. Now, what I want you, I want you to hold that because that's something most people don't often think about. From all eternity, we are love, and until all eternity, we will be love. And our little life is a little mission for a few years to announce that love. You see, that's the movement. And that's how God sees you and me. So, what is life? What is your life? What is my life? Your life and my life is an interruption of eternity. Just a little interruption. Secondly, your life and my life are a short opportunity to say to the God who tells you, I love you, but I love you too. Life is an opportunity to say yes to God's eternal love. And an opportunity you have every moment, every second. Because sometimes you have something wonderful and you say, thank you, God, for your love. And sometimes you have something really painful and you have to say, thank you for drawing me closer to your heart, even though it is hurting me. Life with all its joys and all its sorrows is a short time in which we can say, yes, God, we love you too in our excitement and in our depression, in our wholeness and in our brokenness, in our well-being and in our sickness. Every time again, we have a chance to say, yes, 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 I want to be your daughter. I want to be your son. Not only because you say it, because I want to be it too. And the great mystery is that God wants us to respond and to say, yes, I like your love. I want your love. I want to be your son. It's not only your decision, but it's my decision too. And the third meaning of life is that while we are here, we need each other badly or goodly. <laughs> You, we can do it alone, I tell you. And you both know you can do it alone. This whole conference, you couldn't do it alone. You had you love people. And we need each other. And we keep forgetting again and again and again that we are loved. And we say, no, I'm no good. No, I, I, uh, I, I messed it all up. No, I feel so guilty. No, I feel so ashamed. No, this cannot be good. Look, I lost my dear mother. I lost my job. 
I lost my ability to walk. I lost my eyesight. I, I'm going to be angry. I'm going to say, no, 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 no. And we need each other to say, please, keep believing that all that you live in can bring you closer to the heart of God, that you can't do it alone. We need each other. In the midst of this difficult, dark, and often violent world, we need to have a community of support to which we can call all people in all their abilities and disabilities and be a community of hope. So, that's the end of the first little talk.